ho 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 welcome back to the channel ji colorist my name is jody and i'm thrilled to have you here on an early saturday morning so good morning to everyone i hope you have a cup of coffee uh, handy so that uh, we can dive right into this uh, day nine of our matchstick mouse coloring book countdown today we are coloring this page uh, he is wrapping a bunch of presents he's doing a spectacular job of getting a uh, tape everywhere and uh, uh, little bits of paper everywhere so a typical wrapping experiment uh, I have to run to the art store today to purchase a refill for my Copic Chow E31 which is brick beige which we have been using on the mouse so I am going to do the background first I am going to use some acrylic paint today because what I am envisioning is making this whole page a present so um, and I envision on having red on the page here so I'm not going to have a red present although that was my first kind of idea instead I am going to make it kind of a, a baby blue which is a little bit of a non-traditional uh, Christmas color but we've been doing a lot of Christmas coloring so I thought we'd kind of shake it up a little bit I have done some test swatches on a piece of paper this is the uh, craft smart pool blue uh, just plain this is the craft smart pool blue and then the blue ice pearl on top of it I like how that's a little bit more uh, shiny and reflective but not like super sparkly um, because we are going to do the whole page and um, I don't want my eyes to hurt uh, so that's the plan we're going to do the acrylic painting first and then I'm going to let that dry and I will uh, run to the um, art store pick up a refill for my Copic Chow and um, yes I think that uh, and then after I have the paint on there at the very end I am going to add some really pretty washi tape that I got last year that I have not yet used it is silver with uh, some stars on it and I'm gonna kind of make some cross uh, like ribbon on a on a present so that's the plan for today if that sounds like uh, something you want to watch me experiment and do then please uh, go get your coffee and uh, I'll start painting right now okay we've got the high class expensive ceramic plate for our palette I've grabbed a piece of uh, circular cardboard just to kind of hold it over top of this so I don't accidentally uh, splash any paint as I uh, go to town on this because um, we, since we are putting another uh, paint on top of it I'm not gonna make it you know super streak free and everything because the paint will be hidden up a little bit so we're just gonna paint away and while I'm painting I will uh, not do a table topic question for this first coat because I am trying to concentrate so um, I'll do a little bit of music right now but we will be returning to the table topic questions shortly Check for any obvious streaks and get rid of those, of course. But I'm um, not going to be too fussed as long as. And we've covered up the number nine because I want the whole page to be a present. I don't want there to be a gap. And I will um, use a black Posca pen or something uh, or a fine liner to write the number nine in again. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And uh, so again, that was Craft Smart in 
pool blue and it is a matte acrylic paint. Okay, this side is, or this layer is dry. Step two is going to be adding blue ice pearl on top. This is metallic acrylic paint, but it's pretty sheer. So if you used it just plain, um, it, you wouldn't get, you'd have to do quite a few coats to get a good coverage. So instead I use it as a topper and I am going to simply paint right on top of the blue that's already there. will end up leaving a sheen on the page. Probably won't see much of it while it's wet, but uh, you'll see more of it when it's dry. So I will turn the camera off and uh, finish this off. Then I'm going to run to the art store and get my Copic refill, and then we will be back. So it'll only be a few seconds for you, and it'll be a little while for me. So see you shortly. Okay, we have finished painting. I will let it dry and um, I'm going to actually lift it off of the backing paper and set a new backing paper underneath it. So um, it does look like it's buckling a little bit. That's uh, uh, not surprising since I've left this part dry and the rest is uh, damp. So it will dry and if I need to, I can always uh, flatten it with a book or iron it uh, with a low heat set iron. So anyways, we'll let this dry and we'll be back to do the center picture. Welcome back. I have uh, picked up my refill for my Copic marker. This is totally dry. I in fact have flattened it quite a bit. It's quite, uh, um, it's not actually overly wrinkled. Um, you do see the wrinkles a little, little bit more because of the reflection. But uh, no, happy with how it's looking so far. Let me uh, lower the camera. So close your eyes and uh, we'll get started on our mouse friend. Okay, let's dive right in and get this uh, done. First off, I see Wilbur down here. So we will get him. Again, he has no mouth, so I'll draw one in. We are using Copic Chow. And we've got some clear tape over the, his ear, so it's gonna go right over it because can't do anything else. Okay, and a foot. And I only see one foot. Oh, his tail. Last couple pictures, his tail's been hidden, so. Okay. He's got a different hat on again, so we'll um, have to see what kind of color we're looking at. Probably do red, because it uh, is a Santa hat. This is the refilled Copic marker. 100% better than yesterday when it was drying out quite a bit. The table topic questions. I will pull one off and we will start. Do you have a lucky number? Hmm. I don't really think so. I'm. My birthday is on the 11th, so um, that's kind of maybe lucky. But no, I'm not a superstitious person and I don't have a favorite number or anything like that. But. What about you? Do you have a favorite number or a lucky number? I don't play the lottery, so I don't have any, even have any of those numbers picked, so. Can't say that I have much of an answer for that one.
Use the darker marker here. That's our mouse. We'll grab, we'll do the medium red, which is R29, which should be lipstick red. And we'll also do a bit of shading on his ear. And he's got tape on his head, so <laughs> good grief. gonna make this bow red here as well and we're just gonna keep it the same color as his hat I'm going to come in with some Windsor Newton iridescent medium I think or maybe some glossy accents and uh, put it over the tape area so that um, it looks like it's that and this is a whole roll of uh, tape I just see that now let's first make this make the roll defined and we'll do this go over here red as well as we'll keep things kind of uniform. Okay, our next table topic question. If you could live on any beach, which would you choose? Hmm. Well, let's let me think about what beaches I have been on. So I've been to beaches in Australia. In Hawaii and California so and um, like St. Lucia and Bahamas St. Martin's so like I went on a cruise and we stopped at a bunch of places um, so those are the only places I've been, so I haven't been to too, too many beaches, but um, they were all lovely. Probably Hawaii I remember the most because of the smell. Uh, let me grab some more colors, then we'll keep talking. Okay, so as I was saying, I haven't been to too many, but I really, when I think about the beaches, um, the sand and the beach in St. Lucia was beautiful but it was awfully long flight to get there um, and so I would probably prefer to live in like Hawaii because I understand how the states kind of work it's not too hard for me to get to the states and uh, it just smells lovely there So yeah, so I guess a Hawaiian beach. It could be uh, Maui or Waikiki or I haven't been to all of the islands. I would like to go on a cruise that went to a bunch of the different Hawaiian islands and we got to go to a few of them. I think that that would be awesome. So but yeah, I did each. I have, I should also say that I have been to the Canadian beaches, so uh, all the way down to uh, Prince Edward Island and uh, Halifax and Nova Scotia, beautiful country there too. And of course, uh, Victoria in British Columbia. So, okay, 
Going to do some tree color there. This is spruce. So let me get a piece of paper and see what it's really like. Shake it up a bit. Okay, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. And we've got some garland. So I'm going to actually do... Mm, I was going to do blue. Yeah. I'll do some blue. It's a bit darker than I thought. Okay. Grabbed icy blue, but this looks a little bit more like cornflower blue. This is the sea spray. Yeah. So I'm just switch it up a bit. And we may put some stickles on that to make it a little bit sparkly later. Okay. Any more garland? No. Now we can do the evergreen. And I think I'm going to do boughs in a different color. And I'll do this as the under color because it's quite dark. Let me get this done. You can listen to the music for a little bit. I uh, don't want to mess up here, so. Okay, while I was at the art store getting a refill, I also picked up BG000, which is Pale Aqua. And I thought that I would try it out here and use it on the uh, tape. Because it's almost see-through. <laughs> and then after it dries, I'm going to use some Windsor Newton iridescent medium and paint it over top. But I'll wait for this to dry first, but it's... Because tape is clear, but it would be nice to have just a little bit of color to the tape so that it shows up. And I'm gonna see that this is a piece of tape down here. And here, okay, now, we'll wait for that to dry. In the meantime, we're going to do some ornaments, and I thought that I would use um, some glaze pens for those, so let me get it started. Okay, then they'll kind of a be a little bit transparent, like glass. And the next table topic question is, how did you meet your significant other? Hmm, well, my significant other, Henry, um, who has passed away, um, I met him through my sister. He went to high school with my sister, but I didn't know him at that time. I met him when they went back for their 10-year reunion and uh, so that was kind of fun and he actually helped my sister was moving in with me at that time and he helped 
her move in with me. So, yeah. Okay, this is... I'm going to have, I think, some gold for that. Um, I'm trying to think of what... Let me grab my color wheel. Okay, so, as I suspected, the complementary color to red is green. Um, so I'm going to pick uh, Mignonette, which is a yellow-green 11, and we're going to uh, just make this a light green so that there's not too, too much green on this page. And it's kind of hard to figure out what's the ribbon and what's not. And we're going to get want some sparkly... We'll try this and see if it works. I'm trying to use up the Sparkle Pop pen. But yeah, so I met my husband through my sister and uh, it was 10 years after they went to high school. So I didn't uh, meet him. We both grew up, grew up in the same community, um, but I didn't know him. Okay. Looks like we're gonna need to get a different Sparkle Pop. So this one is Toast Recycle. We'll use the Dollar Tree glitter pen. Do you have any funny stories or interesting stories about how you met your significant other? This is dry. Let's do that Windsor Newton iridescent medium. I'll grab a paintbrush. So this is Windsor Newton iridescent medium and it's actually meant to be used with watercolors and you can add it to your watercolor to make um, any of them uh, glitter or iridescent. So, but what it does is when you just lightly paint it on, it kind of makes um, whatever you're painting to look transparent. So I like to use it on see-through things. So I'm thinking this cello tape or scotch tape, that's a good use for it. You don't need much. So that's why I'm always just dipping into the uh, cap. I'll finish this off. So everywhere I see tape, I'm going to give it a little paint. Yeah, that looks better already. I really like how that is looking. Okay, I'm going to work on the wrapping paper and I'm going to pick uh, BV02 and it is called Prune. So, uh, but it's a nice light purple color and I just would like to add a different color to the page other than red. I don't really want to put orange on the page. We had a lot of orange earlier this week. Let's see. If, if you could be a backup singer for any band, who would it be? Well, it would need to be a band where you didn't have to rely on the backup singer because Although I really like to sing, um, I'm not a good singer. So, um, so let's pretend I, that I can sing. And uh, I would like to either a Christian kind of rock band, like contemporary Christian music, or country and western. So one of those two genres. And I mean, I'm not wanting to sing for thousands, like not back up for like Garth Brooks or anything like that, that's for sure, but there used to be a, a group called the 
farmer's daughter. And I haven't seen them live, and I, have, I don't think they're together anymore, but yeah, they were kind of cool. Okay, now I've got this Pentel Sparkle Pop, and it is the type that when you um, put it down on white, it's one color, but then when you put it down on black, it ends up another color. So I thought we could use the same pen, the Sparkle Pop on both, on all of the triangles, both the black and the white ones, and we would end up with a two for one deal. Okay, we're going to take a break from this area and we're going to do the background. Um, in the past we have done the background in grey um, and that was probably okay so let me grab some greys. So let me leave some music on and I'll speed through this background because this is the boring part. Okay, uh, here's how it's looking right now. I really like the cello tape. Uh, here's the background. The floor is the C7 and the wall is C five and they both are cool grays. A little bit more wrapping paper to do and then we will do, um, I'm going to, I think, make a uh, line. Got some new um, Stedler metallic pens while I was out today. So I'm gonna put a circle around here. go over the black line and change it because we're going to have silver washi tape. I'm going to go right around everything. So that was a metallic Stadler Pen. came in a uh, five pack so interesting to finish off this quickly and then we will get to the washi tape I see that our beetle bug friend is back and last time we used a yellow gel glaze pen for him so I'll just do the same that way he just stands out a little bit more looks like he's uh, his antennas are a little bit like reindeer antlers so that's cute and I'm going to draw a mouth on Wilbur again. Okay. Okay. Now I'm not going to do any stickles or the glossy accents until I have finished with the rest of the page. So I'm going to zoom you out now. So close your eyes. Hey, you can see how we're doing now. Here is the tape I have and I really quite like it but I do have other options so I'll show you my other options. Okay, here are my other sparkly tape options. So no for purple. Gold would be okay but I'm kind of feeling the silver vibe because of this. So white would be okay. Um, silver, uh, peach, no, green, no, the blue would be okay also if I combined it with the silver, um, gold, no, and then we have this. So these are kind of our options. So I'm going to do this and this. Let's start off with 
uh, this one here. There is a slight tear up at the top of the page that I kind of like to get rid of. So I'm going to start with lining this up at the top of the page. Now I can either do another like this and like this and then I would cut out over that or I would probably want um, this to go underneath the ribbon, maybe. Let's just see how this looks. Won't stick it all the way down, just kind of tack it down there. And yeah, I think that I need this to go under that. But yeah, that kind of would look cool. Okay, so let's gently lift this off and We'll stick this one down. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to wrap a present, right? And I'm not going to push down there. But I'm going to push down here. Okay, cut that, and it's a little bit tricky here because we can't really see through this washi tape. again and fill that in a little bit so that the silver there's no blue height or showing so okay, push this down if your washi tape isn't sticking uh, you can always add a little bit of glue just your stick glue Okay, let me take a look at that, see what I think. And I wonder if I need another strip there. Okay, I've decided to put another strip of washi tape down. And so now it's, yeah, I like that. That kind of just seems to finish it off a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I have uh, raised the camera some more so that we could get a full picture of the page. Here's where we are at. The uh, stickles I did add to the garland here uh, is all dry. Everything is dry. The page is a little bit shiny. Uh, it's a little bit wrinkled here, but not severely. And um, it, it looks a little bit more on camera than it actually is. So. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I apologize for the length of this video. It did take a little bit longer. There was a lot to color on this little uh, circle here, um, but I'm happy with the results. Thank you so much for spending a bit of time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, and I'll see you back here for day 10. We'll take a quick peek to see what's on deck for tomorrow. Looks like it'll be a quick or quicker one. Okay, folks. 
Have a great afternoon. See you back here tomorrow.